Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be starting the Jelly Bread version 4 ROM. This ROM is based off SciShow Games CyanogenMode Mode 7 build. So yes, you definitely need to flash his kernel first in order to have this ROM working. So to flash his kernel, you need to use Oren. I'm pretty sure you should be familiar how to flash kernels. Basically, you choose the tar file on the PDF field and you start up you start uploading it to the phone while in downloading mode. So, anyways, once you have done that, I suppose you cannot boot up your phone with that kernel if you want if you are on a stock ROM and so on so basically just take off the battery if you're in a boot loop and put it back on and now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna boot into recovery mode and also of course be sure to have the ROM zip file on your SD card so that you can flash it now so anyways hold the home button the power and the volume up to boot into recovery mode this has Cocos Motor Recovery integrated if you remember from the last video the Cyanogen Mode 7 this one also has a fixed font you can kind of see how the font looks a bit more smaller and much better anyways once in Cocos Motor Recovery the next thing which we're going to do is we're going to wipe data so choose that choose yes there we go then wipe the cache go down choose yes and it is done now the next thing which you do is you go to mounts and storage mount data and the uh, cache is already mounted so mount system in case it cannot mount system what you would do is you would go to format system and choose yes once it formats it you'll be able to mount it and there you have it we have everything needed the, everything we need is now mounted the next thing you do is you go to install zip from SD card then select choose zip from SD card and now from here locate the jelly bread version 4 zip file and uh, here it is choose it then choose yes so the installation may take a while I'll be back once it is done And as you can see, install from, uh, install from SD card complete. Now after this, press the back button and choose the first option, reboot system now. Um, I have no idea if this ROM has a boot animation, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. So to not waste time, once again, I'm going to speed up the video while it's booting up and we'll be back once we have booted into the ROM fully so we're gonna have a quick look at it at its features at its themes and so on and on and okay the phone has booted up as you can see this is the welcome screen which we see in the default android when you first watch stock rom now let's have a look at what is working and what is not I'm just gonna skip these settings for now here and this is our home screen quite a nice wallpaper as you can see the stock wallpaper we have the launcher so for now it looks good this is the notification screen we have the toggles here for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and for sound and silent mode I can't seem to be uh, to see the status bar for some reason possibly because of the media scanner so we're gonna see after what happens after at least one or two minutes once it's done scanning if it is actually scanning but I believe it is not because the phone seems smooth usually when it scans the phone feels waggy anyways this is the launcher so it is using holo launcher as you can see here we've got uh, the file manager we just 
experience the screen flicker so unfortunately this still seems to have the problems we have FM radio the music player this is the ROMS music player actually it just got worse it keeps on flickering anyways you just listen to the sound this is the volume pop up here as you can see this is the music player and what it looks like once it is in action um, for some reason I keep getting a lot of screen flickers here anyways packet data seems to be working I can see from the icon in the status bar let's have a look if Wi-Fi is working so I'm going to start Wi-Fi and uh, oh boy it just got worse the graphics sure messed up a lot anyways let's have a look at the settings and uh, quick links we have teams here you can choose the default uh, theme which Sound Gem Mode 7 uses or you can just stay with this um, let's have a look at what else we've got here shortcuts to Bluetooth and so on and on and here is my network let me just try to connect here okay so just established Wi-Fi connection let's have a look at the browser so it seems to have transition effects that's cool okay Wi-Fi is working without a problem let's have a look if what happens if I turn it off and try to turn it back on so currently it is on let's turn it off and let's turn it back on let's see if it will uh, automatically connect to my network again there we go connecting obtaining IP address hopefully it will connect I'm just gonna leave it at that so um, it has terminal emulator here as you can see this is also installed the diner I suppose has also the ice cream sandwich a look cowboys the contacts so it doesn't seem to read my contacts from my sim card or maybe I just have to import them let's have a look at what else we've got in settings also Wi-Fi seems to be working it managed to start up we have interface option performance control jelly bread settings you also can change the walk screen let's just have a look and we also have the CRT animation so this is this appears to be the default walk screen I suppose you can change them from the settings there and yeah basically the same old Sino Gem mode 7 settings here that's what we see let's just have a look at Bluetooth I don't have another device right now to scan and to test an at. hopefully you can do that yourself but it managed to turn on for now unfortunately the camera still has the same old widescreen problem but let's see if it will if it will actually take a picture so I'm going to take a picture of my background here and as you can see it actually did the problem is you can't preview what you're about to take a picture of but it actually takes pictures as you can see here this is the background so yeah it, it takes pictures so that's good and yeah this was a quick preview of the ROM and installation video uh, if you want to check it out more you have to do it yourself not much else to show here yeah thank you for watching and goodbye